Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome. We are doing the Joker Van unboxing. I got it in today on 420, and happy 420 everybody out there. You know, just, just take a moment and chill. So, welcome to this impromptu stream. I wasn't really planning it. I was going to chill out for the evening, read some Madman. I very read some Madman. I watched the Bueller stream with Jim Mint. I watched the Hero and the Kids stream they did with Chad. That's I, I, caught, I caught like the last two-thirds of that <clears throat> when I got home. But we're doing an unboxing, and we're opening up the Joker van. And I am so, so excited. It was entirely paid for by the PCP Army, so that's very, very cool. But first, I do want to point out that I did figure out how to transform the star scream last night. It was relatively easy, but there was a piece... This chest pops out, but doesn't seem like it's supposed to, and it seems like that could break. Anyway, that... Are we good? We're back on? We were gone for a minute, I think. Were we? I don't know. Anyway, I see some people in the chat. That's super cool. Thank you for being here. Before we get to the Joker van, I got some other things that came in. So I want to open them up, too. So just a live unboxing. What's up, Perry? What's up, Whole Shoe? What's up, Boy Who Had Seven? What's up, Dodora? Sam Fett? ALD Collects, John, Green Man, Brian, Logan. How are y'all doing? Y'all having a good day? All right. <clears throat> so this is a single comic. This is an eBay purchase. These were all eBay purchases. Cue the music. You guys wanting the Joker song one more time? I think I really went way obnoxious with that last night. Oh, come on. And now we're back. Something's going on with the connection. It keeps going on and on and on. All right. So... Pretty sure I know what this one is. It's a bag of boards. Look at that. How cool, y'all. Yeah, I went a little overboard there. There it is. Yeah, Brian, I was going to respond to your message today. I totally forgot that. But that's really cool that uh, you thought you had a Beavis and Butthead poster turned out to be Nash Can. <clears throat> All right, so this was a was a fantastic Ford, 211. I got the super cheap because it's not the best condition, but I found out that I did not actually, in fact, have this like I thought I did. Maybe I still do, and it's somewhere, but this is the first appearance of Terax. Old dude right there. Herald of Galactus. So very excited to have it. I pretty much should have almost all the way through 200. John Byrne artwork, good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, first appearance of Terax right there. I didn't plan this out, like where I would put everything. Next one's going to be some comics too. I'm pretty sure these are my Madman books. Nicely packaged. Oh, yeah, boy, you had seven. FF's the best. That's my jam. That's my number one. One day I'll get every single issue, I promise, right? One day. All right. So I bought this Madman lot because I needed to find a Madman Atomic Comics, like number, I don't remember what number, I think 15 or something. Yeah, it's the David Bowie Madman cover. But I found it in a lot because it's kind of a bit pricey for what you know that what I'm talking about. You know, it's it's a bit pricey for what I like to pay for books. There we go. So I went up and I found this lot, and it had it in there, and it was a decent price, really good price actually. So in this lot, I have Madman Atomic Comics number one, which I've never read the Atomic Comics. That's the Image stuff. It moved over to Image. There's issue number two. 
I love Mike Allred's artwork. Look at those. Look at that. That's fantastic stuff. Here's the number 14, which I needed because I couldn't find this one either. Darwin Cook issue, so it got a little bit more difficult to find, apparently. And here it is. That's the Madman number 15. Look at that. That's probably one of the best, coolest covers in my collection. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. And while you were at it, they were like, sure, a Madman Dark Horse number one. That's cool. That's really cool. And then, just for the F of it, there's a number three. A number four. And a number 11. Which I've always loved this cover. First of all, you got the plug for Red Rocket 7, plus you also got the jet pack and helmet on Madman. So that was a nice little lot. I'm very pleased with that. That David Bowie cover is sweet. Let's show it one more time. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. You know, Alra did recently a Bowie graphic novel hardcover. I need to get that. Need to get that. So those are those books. The only other thing I have is this, and I'm pretty sure it's not candles. <clears throat> so, y'all knew it was coming again. In this package is the Joker van. John, you hope it's candles? That's hilarious. All right, so we're opening it up. Let's do it. Lots of tape. That could be a good sign. So this is also going to have a Joker figure. It's the Toy Biz Joker figure. It was just in there with it. Initially, I thought it was on card, which was cool, because I want one on card, because I got the Bob the Goon and the Batman on card. But I've got like four of them Joker figures already. So that one might wind, wind up giving away or something to somebody. All right. Y'all, the anticipation is nearly killed us. First thing, what's kind of cool <clears throat> is that the figure is not carded. It's been pulled off that card, but it does come with the card. So that's pretty neat. And there's the gun that's going to belong to the Joker van. Yeah, it's totally ripped off of there, though, but that's cool. At least I have a card now. Maybe I should re-glue it. That'd be a cool idea. John, what's your question? But y'all, here it is. This damn Joker van. Let's get it out of the wrap. John, what's your question? <clears throat> I had this when I was like, I don't know what, 11, 12, something like that. There is a Punisher van that was made by Toy Biz. It's the exact same toy. Just color different and way more expensive. That's pretty much in wonderful shape. So there it is. It's a quite not as quite cool as the turtle van, obviously, but beautiful. All right. So this does have a water gun type thing. I think you fill it up there. I'm not sure. So this is going to 
Yeah, look at that. I think that's where the water comes from. It's from his mouth right there. Then you got, that's where it's going to spray the water. This is a chair that just randomly pops up. How do you lock it? How do you lock it in place? I'm not seeing a mechanism to lock. Oh, there it goes. It just pulls up. So Joker can sit there. That gun goes right there. I'm trying to remember if the doors open up. Yeah, the back door seems like it opens up. But maybe not. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I can't get the damn thing open. There we go. As the back doors open up. Right there. Then, of course, the car door opens up, so you can put the Joker and Bob the Goon in there. So cool. So there is the Joker van. Let's get that gun on there. You can hide your weed in that van. Hell yeah. I can just glue that package back. I mean, that on that card, right? The blister on the card. Now you need the Punisher van, the Turtle van, and the A-Team van. Oh, my goodness. That would be so cool, John. I would love to have a toy van collection. I want to get the James Bond Jr. car. I know you remember that one. I want the Punisher van, but... So the Punisher van, the ask people are asking like five hundred, six hundred bucks for it. I've seen it sell for two hundred, but that's a lot, man. So there it is with the gun on the chair. Like I said, the Punisher van, exact van, except for instead of being green and purple, it's black and blue. Oh, that's so freaking cool, though. Thank you all so much. Oh, I really do appreciate it. This all came from Super Chats, so thank you. This is all yours. So thank you guys so much. If you want to keep chatting for just a minute, throw in some questions, and we can chat for a little bit longer. I got some time. I got some time to kill. Read some more Madman today. Just getting really hardcore into Madman right now. Really cool stuff. What's up, Easy? We're all stunned into silence. Hell yeah. All right, John. I'm a huge Batman Mask of the Phantasm fan. I'm looking for the Phantasm figure. Can't find it. My best bet, I would say look on eBay or something like that. Um, I personally do have one, but it's not up for sale. It, of course, is loose, um, but I absolutely um, love that figure. I love Mask of the Phantasm. I would recommend... Are you talking about the old school one? Or are you talking about the newer one, the DC Collectibles one? I'm talking about the old school one. Um, I have that one, but it's not for sale. But I would look online. But we don't have any at the shop. Not that I'm aware of. Also, the Batman Beyond sequel of The Mask of the Phantasm, is it worth it? I'm not aware of the Batman Beyond Mask of the Phantasm sequel. Is that in the comic book? Because I don't really read, I've never read a lot of the Batman Beyond comics. Just started watching the Waco show. Yeah, it's, uh, yesterday's the anniversary of that stuff, right? Uh, I haven't heard anything about that. Let me know if it's any good. I'm uh, probably going to start watching that Michael Jordan documentary tonight. Because I haven't watched that yet. It's in the comic, yeah. I don't know. 
Is that from the Dan Jurgen stuff? I hear good things about that run. It's got John Leguizamo, who played the clown in the Spawn classic from 1997. We are doing another live movie review this Friday night, 8 p.m. Central. We're going to be doing Pitch Black, as picked by the PCP Army. And then the next week, we'll be doing a Michael Keaton movie. And that poll is active in the PCP Army right now. So join up. Vote. Right now, it looks like Johnny Dangerously is going to be the winner, which kind of surprises me. I thought it would be like Mr. Mom or something. Um, but Johnny Dangerously is number one, and then Multiplicity came out of nowhere with a strong second. Strong second. Very weird. Very odd. John Leguizamo. What's the best John Leguizamo movie? Land of the Dead? The Crappening? Mario? He's in a lot more, though. I did not know they had a mask of the Phantasm pop. Of of Phantasm? Because that, that's pretty dope. And I'm fighting the urge right now to try to hunt that thing down on eBay. Man, I'm so happy I got this Joker van. It was like Christmas today, y'all. Spawn? Yeah. I got a Spawn figure coming in, too. It should be in this week. The old school, the first Spawn figure from Wave 1, you know, Series 1? Yeah, whatever. I'm a Spawn fan now. I've been suckered in. 40 issues in. Various miniseries. I bought a Violator toy. Might as well get the Spawn. I backed the Todd McFarlane Kickstarter. It's ridiculously awesome. Empire Spun? Oh, Empire Spun or Spawn? Mario Brothers is his best film, right? I would, I don't know. I really like Land of the Dead. I really do. Of course, that's Romero. Probably one of the weaker movies, but if I had to rank the dead movies, me personally, let's see. So there's the original three. They did Land, that's four. Diary and Survival. So there's six. So number six for me is Survival of the Dead. Number five is Land of the Dead. Number four is Diary of the Dead. Three is Dawn of the Dead. Two is Night of the Living Dead. And one is Day of the Dead. Yeah. That's why I, Day of the Dead's my favorite. The Van Rocks got to see it with the water. Yeah, I do need to do that one day. Hey, y'all, I just checked. We got just as many likes as we got people in here, so I don't have to tell you to thumbs up the video. So I just have to say uh, thumbs up the video for people watching on the replay. Facebooked me a shot of it. Heck yeah. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so what y'all up to? What you doing? <laughs> Anybody watch the uh, Jim Mint Bueller uh, video tonight? Thought it was a cool conversation. I really enjoyed it. What's up, Fable Lady? Um, I will be on Bueller's channel tomorrow night. So that will be 5.30 Pacific, which is 6.30 Mountain, 7.30 Central, and 8.30 Eastern. I'll be on Bueller's channel. Fable, you missed it. So here you go, right here. There's the Joker van. Super cool. And it squirts water out the front. You put water in there. You pump out water on the front. Pretty dope. Pretty dope van. Pretty dope. Very happy with it. And it's nice. There's some discoloration on that door right there, but it's just going to happen. They use different plastic sometimes. At least that's what I've heard. So you got some discoloration on that door. You can see that. Not so much on that door. So it's on the passenger door for sure. But everything else is pretty nice. Usually you'll see that these things get broke, the wheels, 
and the, the spokes or whatever. 1990. Nineteen ninety. Super cool. I do got some uh, other Joker vehicles, and I have them right here. This is the Joker cycle from the Kenner Dark Knight collection. Love this this Joker cycle. Love that one. This one is a Kenner one from the animated series collection. It's the Joker Mobile from the animated series with the Joker in it. How cool is that? And the, the mouth is a missile that shoots out. But I really like that. I think it's like the Jokester Roadster or something like that. I don't know. Something silly. Yeah, the Joker van does have its own theme music. Don't worry. Next Sunday, that's still going to be available. All of it. I, I'm, I'm fascinated now with, with incorporating graphics and music into the channel. <laughs> Why not? Yes, it is crispy. Return of the Living Dead 2. That one's wild. I remember being really terrified of 3 for some reason when I was younger. Um, but 1's the one I think is the best. Tar Man's one of the best zombies on screen. And it's got a great soundtrack. I watched some episodes of the Duncan Trussell show. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so far behind, I guess. I don't even know who that is. That name seems familiar. I feel like I should know who that is. Also, Fable, since you missed it, I did manage to learn how to transform the star screen. So there's this jet mode. looks very classic and very cool. Really like this. It's the next best thing to having the uh, the old school one. Yeah, that's what I always say. Old school's better than no school. Yeah, that works. Ah, that does work. So I hope everybody's been having a good 420. He's a stand-up comic. There's a new one. On Netflix, new special that I think I'm going to watch soon. I don't remember the dude's name. I don't watch too much stand-up, but decided to check it out. But yeah, I have to check that out. Duncan Trussell. I'll look that up. See it out. Check it out. That's what I'll do. The Midnight Gospel and its Shades Related. Mm. You know, I almost thought about doing a Shades Night tonight, but I didn't want to go for too long. Shades Nights, the last Teen Dog Shades Night was like over three hours. I couldn't believe it. I was like, how do, I was like in a space-time vortex. It like felt like it was like 20 minutes. Y'all excited for comics to come back? You see all the... Uh, the outrage over the DC thing, and some people might think that that might not, I mean, I think they're still going with it, but it seemed like a lot of people were trying to get it to not happen. I think people were expecting an announcement today that they were going to back out of it, but I don't think they're backing out of it. I just think it's a placeholder thing. I think it's just something DC's doing for three weeks, and if Diamond's ready, they'll go, and if Diamond's not ready, then we'll see what happens. If shops want to continue on with Midtown and DCBS, maybe they will. If they don't, then they'll go back to Diamond. Diamond's doing it. Diamond did announce today, um, in a way, they kind of contradicted um, DC, because DC said all your orders for the products for these three weeks from Diamond with us have been canceled. You'll now have to get them through these other distributors. And Diamond's like, no, man, your order still stands. I'm like, wait, so you can just give them to us later? Now, they're fully returnable through the end of June. That's something that DC did at the beginning of the uh, pandemic. Yeah, it would have been, it would have been, you know, yeah, and I usually like to hang out with my homies on 420, and we, we're not going to do that. And I, we almost did a live stream together tonight, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. I got to get back to doing some of these edited videos, you know, my top fives and whatnot. Carlito's Way is the best Leguizamo movie. Okay, I, I can give you that one probably. 
Starscream is the best of the Transformer line, with the exception of Optimus Prime. All the Decepticons are way cooler, and this includes Starscream. Yes, I was thinking about this the other day, because they have some more in this line that have been released, and, and so Hasbro's doing this trilogy thing. like War of Cybertron. There was like Siege or something, and they were all like Cybertronian modes, and now they're doing the Earthrise line, which is their Earth modes. So they're the ones that look more classic. They did the Optimus Prime already. It was like 50 bucks. I opted not to get it. So, like, I do not need to buy a $50 Transformers figure. I already got a G2 tra uh, Optimus Prime. That, that satisfies me. But when this star screen came in, I was like, oh, my goodness. And they got some other good, good ones. Grapple, Hoist, Sidewinder, Cliff Jumper is very tempting to me. However, I don't really care so much about the Autobots outside of Prime. But I tell you what, they do a sound wave. I'm there. They're doing a Megatron. I'm there. Um, Brooks and Jelani have the Cybertronian Megatron. And that stuff looks cool, but I like the ones that look like the classic cartoons. Like, I mean, look at that. Doesn't that bring you back right there? Ugh. Yeah, the Decepticons are way freaking cooler. You know, they did that, like, repackaged Soundwave not too long ago. It was 50 bucks though. I should have got that. Soundwave's probably my absolute favorite Transformer. Soundwave. It's got the cool voice. He's got the cool transformation. He's got the extra pieces. I always loved anything with extra pieces. The little Ravage is, like, my favorite. Laser beak, all that stuff. Hey, what's up, Bueller? How are you doing, buddy? You missed it. We just opened up the Joker van, buddy. Just got this today. Joker van from the early 90s. Toy biz. There's a Punisher van. It's just like it. It's the exact same toy, just different different colors. Very nice, isn't it? I'm pleased. So once again, thank you, PCP Army. <laughs> like this song. Yeah, that Joker van's a nice size. Uh, yeah, and Mikey, you, you didn't miss 31. We're not doing that many of them tonight, but yeah. Yeah, thank you, Bueller. I'm looking forward, by the way, to being on your channel. I watched your one with Jim Mint today. That was a great conversation. So, uh, and I'm looking forward to chatting with you tomorrow night. Yeah, I like the Joker van animation, too. It's probably my favorite thing I've ever done on this channel is is that that Joker thing with the song and the clapping just, just something about it just really I really like it. And then I almost made one with the dancing Joker from the new film and that's why I made the thumbnail of this one that kind of as an homage to my idea that it didn't use because for me the clapping thing seemed to really work a little bit better. You put the water in the bottom. So right here, you pull this out. You fill the water up there. There's the tube right there. You make sure the tube goes, you know, inside the hole, which is difficult to do with one hand. Goodness me. So anyway, then that goes back in there. Whoops, you flip this open. You squeeze this. And water comes out of the Joker's mouth. I'll fill it with vodka when we do our, uh, we should do a Joker podcast. Ooh. Ooh. That's a great. We could do a whole podcast on the Joker, John, because our top five could be the top five Joker performances. Because everybody would have the same ones, obviously, but they would be shifted a little bit, I think. Joker vodcast. I like it, Brian. Tomorrow should be great. I have a feeling you and I might go on for hours. That is quite possible. I get... You know, I always try to be like, you know, we'll just do an hour, but I know 
that that means an hour and a half. So I like now I, d- I just tell people, see you, John. I just tell people now, um, we're gonna go like for an hour and a half to two hours. That's usually what I tell people. But when I get on a chat with Dylan, I don't know what it is about Dylan, but I'll just wind up in like a YouTube vortex and just be there forever. But yeah, I'm sure we could talk a long time. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Yeah, Bueller's got a great lineup this week. He had Jim tonight. I'm tomorrow night. He's got Comic Tom on Wednesday night. He's got, is it Reggie on uh, Thursday night? Reggie Collects. And then you got uh, the cat from, uh, is that Brian? From uh, Simple Man's Comics? Heck yeah, Mikey. I, I'm, I'm excited to see as much as the, of the PCP army there tomorrow night as possible. And if you're watching this on the replay, that's Tuesday, April 21st, 8.30 Eastern on Comics with Bueller's channel. And I'm very excited. Oh, almost as excited as I was about this damn Joker van. Speaking... <laughs> All right, that's 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 enough of that. We'll save we'll save that again. We we won't we won't do that again till uh, Sunday night. You know, Bueller, I won't forget. I haven't forgotten that uh, last time you were on my channel, um, we mentioned doing a Teen Dog Shades night together one night. So don't think I've forgotten about that. Because I'm that that sounds like a fun idea, doesn't it? And maybe one day we can start a trend, and every so often we can get together. We can get like six of us together and we can do a Teen Dog Shades live stream. <laughs> Heck yeah. And uh, it seems like people are wanting us to do the April get-together video, even though there weren't really any new comic books for April. I think they still just wanted us to get together and chat, and I think we should do that. And I know that either you or Bob was going to do April, so if one of either of you guys want to do that, just let me know. If you guys want to host it. If you don't want to host it because obviously it's it's an off month or whatever, um, I'm sure I, I I can do it or Dylan can do it or whatnot. But uh, it was up to one of you two. So if you want to, just let me know. But we are almost out here now because we got the Joker van opened. It's here. It's now part of the PCP legacy. So let it be written. So let it be opened. So let it be done. Let's recap. Everything from tonight. Starscream figure. Transformed. Last night I didn't transform it because I just didn't want to fumble around. <laughs> with it. I got in a Fantastic Four 211. First appearance of Terax. Herald of Galactus. A rarity, meaning a John Byrne Fantastic Four issue I didn't actually have. But thought I did. Some Madman comics I got off eBay. Madman number one from Dark Horse. Madman number three from Dark Horse. Or is that two? It's three. Number four. Number 11. Yes, 11. And then for Madman Atomic Comics, issue one. Issue two. Love that cover. Issue 14, and Issue 15, with the cool David Bowie. And, of course, the Joker van. And I like John's suggestion of getting the Punisher van, the A-Team van, and uh, what was the other one? Some other van. Some other van. Robbie, are you missing much of the pre-400 GF? Do you mean FF? If you mean FF, no. I'm missing a lot of the pre-100 FF. Um, I'm, I'm spotty from 100 to 200, but for the most part, from 200 up, I have everything. I know I have everything 
from like 220 and up. So I was just missing a 211. I'm missing a few in the 206 or 208 or something like that. Um, and then I'm missing some in the, you know, a lot of the first 200, I should say. All right, well, thank you, Mikey. Yeah, most of the stuff I'm missing is, is pre-200, though. And now that I'm getting everything together, I'm going to get together another list because the list I had before got disintegrated in my wallet. Really, Brian? That's crazy. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that. So once again, we really do appreciate it. If you thought you were going to get away, if you thought we were going to get out of here without at least one more of these. You got another thing coming. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us and being a part of this community. Don't forget... Tomorrow night on Comics with Bueller at 8.30 Eastern, I will be on there with Bueller. Very excited for that. And we got lots more excitement coming up. So we appreciate everything. Y'all have a good one. Happy 420.